Sora. So he was in search for the medicines which represents the Sora. And with, with, as he had been initially interacted by the suppressions of the skin disease, and the most uh, painful skin disease are the uh, stabies. So he took out the uh, uh, discharges from the recycles of the uh, stabies and make it for Sora Sika, that is epidermic influence of celiacus. It was prepared by Groff and formulated by Dr. Henneman. The salt from product, uh, it is, it is, uh, also it was titrated by Dr. Henneman. Sorry, Dr. Henneman. The characteristic features of this medicine. As we say that sulfur has been the chief remedial agent for both the school of the uh, treatment. In allopathic system of the medicines and other system of the medicines, sulfur is being widely used for treating the uh, for treating the skin skin disease. So and uh, uh, that's why Dr. Hanneman was uh, Hanneman also got attracted to the potentizing the sulfur and to see its effect in the constitutional features as the analog. Uh, and he also tried to find out the analog of the sulfur. The Surinam, Surinam has been proved entirely in the potency. Not it was not put, proved in the mother teacher form. It was proved in the in, 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 the, in the potency. I know that uh, no more water was improving in the vector medica. So people feel that there are no it is not working. They are suspicious about it. The process of growing. Surinam is selected on the basis of comprehensive assessment. Of these characteristics in her, homeopaths consider the overall picture of the patient's physical, emotional, and mental state when, pre uh, when prescribing this medicine. It is essential to consult a qualified homeopath practitioner to ensure the correct remedy and potency are treated for the individual case. Now, let us come to the characteristic feature. And uh, this character, uh, we will begin with the skin because it is basically related to the skin eruption. So it's chronic skin condition. That means it is persistent, always remains recurrent, appearing again, again, and then it uh, ultimately getting converted into the eczema, psoriasis, and other dermatitis. Intensity, chronicity, as well as the intense. Usually in the um, chronic condition, intensity are less, but that the intensity is more in the itching area. Severe itching that often worsen at night and from the warmth of the bed. The night aggravations and warmth get aggravated. And dryness and scaling. The skin becomes dry, they rough, scaly, and often they deep back. And offensive discharges are there. The skin eruptions are also the excuse all smelling discharges. And it is worse by the cold weather, symptoms that intensify during the cold weather or from the exposure of the cold. Next comes the general symptoms, the chilliness, the patient that belongs to the chilly patient will be, will be chill or cold every time regard, regardless of the external, whatever may be the temperature, even in the hottest weather, they feel chilly. Fit, so huge sweating, offensive sweating, particularly at the night. Weakness and fatigue, generally debilitated and feeling of extreme tiredness. Extreme tiredness with a lack of the vital energy to perform daily activity. So this is easy, profuse, and horrib horribly offensive, nearly tendon, almost involuntary. See, horribly offensive, very offensive nature, nasty type of sense. The smell are there, nearly painless, there is no pain, but each is intense and almost and it is involuntary. You cannot stop it to come um, uh, by any thoughts also, or by any means also. They were to have the head uncovered. They always wear a cap in the even in the hot weather, uh, which is sweat about the head. You still they are sweating, they are getting killing warm and humid. Uh, they are, but uh, they feel uh, they put the head forward. So this is another important feature that the chilly patients uh, is one of the important characteristics for this medicine. Third is the 
the mental and emotional states they are if it's uh, they are always despair and hopeless that's the when people get despair and hopeless when they don't feel uh, how to solve the problem how to remove this involuntary condition so they are the, and because this is a chronic in nature chronic city a deep rooted chronic city there so the people uh, they so don't they are unable to find out the solution and they become despair and hopeless feeling of this depression comes despair hopelessness about the future and often suffer to the anxiety so uh, hopelessness and anxiety then irritability and restlessness start the outcome irritability nervousness and a restless state of the mind fear and anxiety intense fear particularly of poverty misfortune for the uh, future then cloudy of nest of the mind confusion and difficult thinking are there how to think how how they, they don't find uh, they cannot uh, arrive at a particular decision and you see that uh, unperfect also they, they are very they, they keep on learning 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 but taking a decision is very difficult for the sulfur also and the same is true with the uh, this uh, story now very fretful irritable and no sleep for the two days and the night even the uh, both during the night even for two three days they don't sleep and but they sleep they keep and then there comes the gastrointestinal symptoms appetite changes extreme thirst hunger extreme hunger yes we also call it the canine hunger like eating every time often worse at the night or compete so night eating and uh, is there and compete or there is a complete loss so extremely extremeness is the feature extreme everything is extreme the pain eating is extreme hunger is extreme if hunger is not effective then extreme has a loss of the appetite in there digestive issue chronic indigestion flatulence bloating and irregular bowel movement constipation or diarrhea you can in the modern terminology we, we call it the irritative bowel syndrome and it's a irritative bowel syndrome it is representative of the autoimmune disorder then deep seated stitching facing pain in the region of the liver aggravated by external pressure or lying on the right side because liver is affected and on the right side and pain hindering in the sneezing laughing so it is any anything which is very shaky in nature that is jarring in nature coughing yawning loud talk deep inspiration loud walking walking rapid walking it creates a problem they want the slow they want don't want to move again the stool the flu dark brown foul smelling thin watery dirty greenish like carry on at horrible accent offensive nearly painless almost involuntary dark and watery only in the night then night aggregation is very important you may have be have heard about the early morning diarrhea taking uh, having the loose stool in the uh, after the midnight these are the important things that you can see in this patient chapped sensation in the rectum and this so much ineffectual drive they feel that the rectum is getting cracked and uh, it is a burning hemorrhage type of the uh, in the inner the itching in the head and then comes the respiratory conditions chronic cough persistent everything is persistent everything is a crack so chronic cough so chronic city a persistent involuntary often with the thick yellow or green sputum asthma breathing difficulty wheezing and shortness of breath especially in the cold weather and recurring in uh, recurring infection frequent cold sore throats ear infections or other uh, recurring illness general malaise weak feeling a constant feeling of unwell with no specific cause they don't never feel fresh doctor sahab i am feeling not well what what to do so there are melancholic illnesses worsen worsening at night many a symptoms including mental and physical discomfort often worsens during the night or after the midnight now characteristic feature 
the mod another is the modality words they are uh, they are aggregated in the cold weather from cold air or the draft of the air after consuming cold foods or the food or drinks and during the rest so motion is good and but the rest is worse for them then uh, better they are better in the warm weather warmth in general and after eating the constitutions now coming to the appearance and how they look individual who might benefit from sorinum often appears weak frail and inefficient they frail means a uh, very delicate type and uh, they might have a sickly pale complexion and look generally unwell skin is typically dry rough or may have chronic issues like eczema psoriasis or other persistent dermatological conditions there might be a tendency for the skin to crack and bleed sweat profuse sweating especially at night with a strong offensive odor temperature sensitivity these individuals are generally very sensitive to cold and prefer the warm they often feel cold even in the warm warm environment and feel seek to have a bundled up covered up then mental characteristic constitution see that solenum type of the patient often experience feeling of deep despair and hopelessness huh? they may have a chronic tendency towards depression and pessimistic outlook for the life then there is a significant anxiety particular about the future and financial stability they may worry excessively about poverty and misfortune restlessness and irritability they might be restless irritable and easily aggravated by the minor minor slightest triples aggravate the rubrics are like this fear common fear for the uh, so solenum is a fear of failures and overwhelming sense of inadequacy something is missing something is missing always something is missing they are very much fearful about that then uh, general disposition of the patient uh, is the uh, that is acre weakness and fatigueness is there they always feel exhausted uh, even the even the slightest that they they don't want to move sulfur whenever you see a uh, sulfur patients or the solenum patients it is very difficult to keep standing or sitting they always try to lie down susceptibility to illness they are prone to recurring infections any type of death infections that comes they uh, get affected easily this includes frequent cold ear infection sore throat or other ailments then appetite and digestion abnormal appetite or ravenous or loss of appetite particularly of the at the night or completely loss of appetite digestive issues like indigestion bloating and irregular bowel movement as are common tourism constitution is characterized by a frail physical frail means weak physical appearance chronic skin issue a strong aversion to cold and tendency towards depression and the anxiety so this is the theme of the general now chief characteristic feature keynotes are lack of vital reactions they you put rubrics in your repository lack of the vital reactions whatever may be the suffering the patient is so much depression it is very difficult to see the modality here no modality suffering 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 patient gets so exhausted that they, they cannot react from that So frustration after acute disease, depressed, hopelessness, night sweats, hopelessness, despair, or um, of partial recovery is uh, part of the jack of reactions. And imagination and bowel body order may accompany it. Now it's just Ellen. He has he says coronary is indicated in chronic cases when well selected remedy fails to relieve or to permanently improve all in acute sulfur cases and in chronic cases uh, the um, uh, this uh, uh, solenum and when sulfur seems to fail or relieve so when the sulfur fails you can think about the uh, uh, this sorry this was it is the then uh, another uh, understanding from dr clark i have seen frequently seen solenum develop some of own symptoms in patients uh, whom it has benefited in the other 
a man who complained cloudiness of the mind and difficult thinking, and who had, among other symptoms, left foot colder uh, than right. Ah, one side cold and one side hot. He received sulfur solenum 30. It removed these symptoms, but while under the influence of these new symptoms, appeared again. And head, heavy headache across the eyebrows, greasiness of the face and the forehead. This is a remark from that. Then Peter Morrell, who is a very upcoming uh, uh, person, he said that the sulfur is like a Aladdin, Aladdin cave or the Pandora box of the Pumyatan. And it contains both wonders and the demons, uh, both wonders and the demons in the Metta Medica. So, Surinam has become the single most interesting important medicine to the Metta Medica. For one reason for this interest is personal ailment. Uh, he says, I myself had a stabbing in 71 along with five um, other members of my family. Since then, I have watched with fascination not only the unfolding mirage disease and uh, symptoms within the member of the family and their office, but I have also uh, seen the profound and curative effects of Solinum as a remedy. Solinum is a very useful remedy with a large symptomatology and much larger than any indicated medicines in the Middle America. It would be approved uh, with a wasp and almost all antisodic medicines within the spare action. So it is called the Allah bin Siyad. And again he says, so Solinam appears to be cured for all panacea. Uh, it is broadly covered uh, and includes sulfur, zinc, nitrum, uriticum, petroleum, graphitis, all these medicines when you, when you are confused with it, that whether the patient is sulfur, zinc, you can, uh, all these uh, phosphorus, and so many medicines are there and you are not getting that. So all these remedies are big star in their own right, but uh, I feel that they are better simply uh, merely a part of translation of Pura, Purinam. Uh, for that seems to be their natural habitat. In other words, Solinam is a vast remedy that embraces all. So you can say a pot, uh, Solinam is a pot which contains everything, sulfur, zincum, phosphorus, argentum, silicia, and lycopodia, lycopodium, all symptoms that can be covered with it. And uh, lastly, the William uh, Bori, the therapeutic field of the remedy is found in so-called Soric manifestation. Solinum is a cold medicine who want to have head kept warm, want warm clothing even in summer, extreme sensitiveness, cold, debility, weakness, independent of any organic disease, especially in the by especially the weakness of rem remaining after acute disease, lack of reactions, that is phagocytes, defective. When well chosen remedy is react. Tubercular patients, secretions have a filthy smell, uh, foul sweating, cardiac weakness, skin symptoms very prominent, often gives immunity from cold catching, uh, easy perspiration uh, from while walking, syphilis inherited, and tertiary offensive discharge. So we have seen the remarkable understanding from our Star Wars. Now, the word of great importance, do not give. Now, this is the precautions that you should take uh, either. But uh, always be careful that when you are using these precautions, don't try to deviate from the basic fundamental principle of homeopathy. Do not give Torinam in high potency for over 200. Appealing aggravations can occur, including the uh, most uh, ugly or inverted skin eruptions often all over the face, head, and lastly, for many of the many issues. So immediately, they, it is said that it should not be prescribed over uh, gradually. You have, that means you have to go up gradually, one by one, after 200, uh, one and one, two. So it is better to use the LM potency to go by one, two, three, four, and one one. This will not be removed, even if the coffee is done. Usually say that coffee is the antidote for all homeopathic medicines. He says say that if they are not able. And even the Nakswamika, which is also known as 
the antigenal antidote, but it is not removed by either of the coffee or the uh, nectomica. But I differ from that, that coffee is the antidote for all. No, it is not the antidote for all. It is related only to those main medicine uh, people who are who have got the difference. So you have to think consistently when you think about the coffee or the nectomica. They must be left until they disappear their own accord. Now, this is a very good suggestion that uh, when the symptoms has aggravated, don't do anything. You stop, wait and watch, wait and watch, wait and wait until it starts declining and getting distress. So, untold distress to a person, and whenever you try to uh, remove that pain, sufferings, each it, and again it will get suppressed, and all your efforts will be lost. The eruptions can also cover the whole body and seem to graduate it, especially to the same area as a study. Uh, this uh, warning especially applies to people who have had a study themselves. Then another important thing is that the effortless magical curative results are there if the patients are gradually ascended to the potency. Gradually ascending potency. That means gradually one by two up or one. A typical and safe dose pattern might be followed as a start from the 30 or 200. Okay? Uh, with the single or triple, triple split dose. Split dose means uh, uh, you take a uh, cup of water and then you put the uh, one drop of the uh, medicines and you take one dose, uh, one spoonful out of it. Then another school for the city known as the split dose. So over one to uh, with a three triple split, three, four times you can and leave it for the one month. If symptoms are still coming, leave for another month. So now you don't have to repeat. Very important uh, message for all of us. When the symptoms are removing or getting better, don't use the medicines again and again. Even if the symptoms are aggravating, don't try to change the position. So let us see and wait and watch until the symptoms are getting better. Continue up to 1M, 10M, and in the same way, waiting for the longer. Each time, if you have gone to 1M, if you have gone to 10M, if you have gone to DM or MM, then you should, uh, you, at every time, you have to wait and watch so that, and then only you take them. One of the interesting features is that after ingesting the remedy, there is a, often a delay of 9 to 10 days. So, incubation periods are there. The medicines, may, you may not feel any change for about uh, a week or two weeks or a fortnight, but it starts appearing slowly. So, in onset, it, its action starts slowly, slowly, it grow up and then it comes down. This is the, uh, uh, then uh, a case can also need remedy many months or uh, uh, case can go on needing the remedy for many months or the years. And soda is not a blockage that is quickly removed with a few doses of 200 or 10. It is important approach that they will not be a fruitful result. Great patience is required uh, than which probably other than any other. So, uh, if you are if you are not uh, high in nature, if you are you cannot practice from the bed. In using solinum as uh, one of the frequently uh, uh, ability to string a back activity with diminished undiminished power after a period of relative dormancy and still be uh, bring beneficial changes in the case. It has a remarkable felicity of actions, a rising phoenix like uh, from the ashes of the last spent dose and take up the work again, bringing new vigor with each dose. This generally seems to be the remedy of exhaustible power and intensity. No way should be, uh, seems to be too far, uh, to be far gone for this use. So the summary is that uh, when the medicine is working, you feel that the, the change is going on. Don't repeat or don't wait. So 
wait and watch until the, you see that the stagnant the static condition has come. And I, if the symptoms are remain still same, then you can go to the higher potential. So this is a good idea, which is not only applicable to the solenum, but also other patients. Uh, now the central, centrifugal axis is there. That's the it origin in the mind, which has been suppressed in what in what. That means centrifugal going inside the solar solid panel remedy in general and soda, solenum in particular express the myelma in re reverse order from outward to the uh, from this is the herring slope toward, from within outward from above downward and in the reverse order of appearance and this is the thing that you can see and watch for the, uh, and until the uh, original uh, symptoms appear all the steam creamy food spray and similar items should be banned during the use as they can spoil the actual undo there. So people used to apply the skin ointment, cream, or the same per per perfume, it should be banned because they will suppress the condition. It has also been noticed that single dose of the solenum 200, 1M, and 10M used three to four times a year with infants and young children act as an excellent prophylactic against nearly all childhood. This is, a, this is only a, a remark, but you should see, use these medicines only when you have, um, uh, when the system totality of symptoms is there. And this is also worth knowing, but these, these and many other observations require further confirmation in the practice. So, uh, what I told you, Sorinam established the cycles medicine for the uh, civilization. If Sora, uh, Sora does cover 85 of all human illness, and Sorinam is the major anti remedy, then we need a uh, clear picture of Sorinam than a uh, presented in uh, the most of the medical. So, conclusion is that there are three main features of the Sorinam are there. Offensiveness, itching, and irritable vertex states. These three runs through the, all the conditions. There is nearly all, near, all, always itchiness and offensiveness, often combined with a torpid lack of reaction. This lack of reaction is often deep seated and insidious. In the worst case, it is slumbering, lack of symptoms, which fails to manifest itself at all. A dormant fixant, soda, physical or mental torpor, so sulfur of course is sufficiently close to sodium to bring about the silt and the dislodged to blockage of the many cases. But sodium itself is um, even better. Sodium and jam, jammed up this because it is feature of the myelma. Sulfur does the same because it is leading anti sodic remedy after the sodium. In torpid condition, one of the first and sensitive effects of the effect of setting solenum is the return of itchiness of the skin, and this has gained them in other diagnosis in a good time. So these are the things that uh, we have seen in the and uh, the uh, sufferings of the uh, uh, symptoms that the symptom effect. I think that this is uh, you can see and can learn more about from the Clark Dictionary. It is very well written there. There are a, even in the Kent Repertory, Kent Metro America, you can find. And also, uh, now the Solinum is also becoming the middle group, middle group of the remedy in your repertory. So with this, I uh, stop the sharing. And uh, now, the only message that uh, while learning the resource, and uh, using the no source, we have to see that, uh, we have to see that uh, whatever you do, whatever symptoms we observe, you try to go into the depth of the symptoms, the wh why it is there, what, what, what are the positive factors associated with it, or why the patient is having this type of the modality, because sometimes you often get deviated by either it is the effect of the weather, either it is the effect of the uh, 
or effect of the internal disorder. The symptoms means the person which is persistent in nature in the patient. It is not that the change of the matter you are getting affected by the change of the weather. So this this is common for all. But when it becomes particularly for one one uh, individualistic character is important than seeing, comparing with the mass. So thank you for today's uh, listening, and I hope that we can have. Another uh, uh, no source in next coming future. So thank you, thank you very much.